Welcome to Croxton Family Racing. I am your host, Adam Croxton, and with us, another race day. League of Champions. 68 teams and over 300 cars. Here's our match lineup for today. First up is going to be Team Volkswagen versus Team Aerodynamic. The purple Volkswagen Beetle made it to bucket one twice during the seating rounds. Let's see how he does. Into the launcher and flipped over. Zero points for his team. Next up we have the Star Fox R-Wing Air Eruption for Team Aerodynamic. Clean launch, into the jump, clean through. Makes it into bucket two, five points for his team. Team Volkswagen's Red Beetle's up next. See if he can get some points for his team. Comes off the track and doesn't score any points for his team. They're not looking good against Team Aerodynamic. The Yellow Air Eruption is next. And good launch. Into the jump, into bucket two, nice and clean. Five more points. Next up for Team Volkswagen is gonna be the Volkswagen Golf GTI in the green paint. He's gonna to need to do something special here. And the only thing special is a backflip. Zero points. Red Eruption is up next. And all he manages to do is kiss the launcher. Well, no matter how you slice it, the Volkswagen Golf GTI with the red paint and the uh, crushed top, I don't think he can do anything to uh, set his team right. Doesn't look like much is going to happen. Zero points. Next up for Team Aerodynamic is the intercooled F3 Shadow Jet. Clean launch, into the loop, and out, just like that. Well, Team Aerodynamic managed to seal things up, so the rest of these guys are just going to be racing for posterity. They have one race car, no points. Next up is the Tricar X8. See what he can do. Well, he manages to shoot himself straight into the curb. Stops on a dime. No points. Well, that wraps everything up for Team Volkswagen versus Team Aerodynamic. We got a couple air eruptions there in bucket two. And that's going to be the scoring that happens for this. Aerodynamic wins. So, Team Aerodynamic with 10 over Team Volkswagen with zero. Team Volkswagen will be eliminated. And our next up is going to be Air It Out versus Mustangs. And leading it off for Air It Out is the Blue Drone Duty. He's clean out the launch, clean into the loop, and straight into bucket two, five points. The first one up for the Mustangs is gonna be the 67 Custom Mustang. Let's see if he can get as many points as the Air It Out Blue Drone Duty did. He is up and through the loop. Completes the course. Oh, and hits right off the rim. Misses all the buckets. Looked like he was going for more. It might cost him. Next up is Carbonic for Air It Out. Smooth launch. Into the loop. And out. Bucket two. Five points. With that, Team Air It Out is at ten points. The Mustangs are at three. Let's see if the chipped paint Mustang Mach-E 1400 can get some points back for his team. Well, he's clean out the gate, into the loop, and fell out of it. No points for them. Mustangs are looking rough. Air it out's green drone duty is going to try and do as well as his counterpart did. Clean out the launch, into the loop, off the table, and our first bucket three finish of the tournament. Six points for him. Air it out, starting to run away with this one. 16 points that are named so far. Let's see if the blue Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 can do something. He can't, and zero points for them again. It's hard to see how Mustangs come back in this one. Their best racers have already been up, and the best they could pull off is three points. Now up Air it out's track manga. Zero points for him. Well, it's a safe bet. Air it out's got this one in the bag. Next up for Mustangs is the 10 Ford Shelby GT500. Well, he makes the loop, but then gets plopped out of it. Zero points for him, and Mustangs are all but done. Next up for Team Air It Out, we have the chipped good humor truck. His counterpart will be coming up here in a little bit. He is launched, and he gets stuck in the loop launcher. No points for him. For the Mustangs, we have the 2005 Ford Mustang. Out of launcher clean, into the loop clean, and into bucket two. What a late set of points for Mustangs. I think it's a little too late. 
And with that, the white good humor truck is up next for Air It Out. And he doesn't even make it as far as his counterpart. Straight off the track at zero points. Coming up on the last two racers for the Mustangs. First off is the 92 Ford Mustang. Into the loop slow and doesn't maintain the speed he needs to come out of it. Zero points for him and Mustangs are looking all but finished. With that, the last one up is the 62 Ford Mustang Concept. And as soon as he is launched, he is pretty much failing. Zero points, the Mustangs fall. Hey, you wonder what would have happened if that first Mustang would have reached a later bucket, but since he didn't, we've got our result. The Mustangs underperform their seating performance, and they fall to Team Air It Out. They lose 16 to 8. The Mustangs are eliminated. And for the next matchup, we have the 40s and 50s versus the Dirty 30s. Been looking forward to this one all week. The leadoff for the 40s and 50s is the Mod Rod. Oh, and he gets caught on the curve, underperforming his seating performance. Oh, that's not a good leadoff for the team. Zero points. Leading off for the Dirty 30s is the White Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. Clean out of the gate, clean through the loop, clean off the table, and into bucket two. And with that, the Dirty 30s take an early 5 to nothing lead. Next up for the 40s and 50s is the Gray Roland Solo. He is clean out of the gate, clean through the loop, clean off the table. Oh, it dribbles in the bucket too. Five points. He evens it up, 5-5 five, five for 40s and 50s and Dirty 30s. For the Dirty 30s, we have the Robo Race Robo Car. Well, it looks like he had the speed, but not the control to stay through that loop. Zero points for him. And up for the 40s and 50s is Max Steele, hoping that he can gain some points for his team and put them in the lead. Clean launch, but he does not make it. Zero points for him. We are still tied. With that, the pink Lamborghini Countach for the Dirty 30s is up. Smooth out of the gates, but he does not make it either. Zero points, and the tie continues. Need somebody to score here. 40s and 50s Blue Eric Stein Rod is up next. Clean out of the gates, and another failure. Zero points. Tie continues still. Will anyone score points? Autotech 35 Racing Porsche for the Dirty 30s is up. His wide body has made him zero points from seating till now. Still tied. Last car up to pull something special. 40s and 50s Red Ferrari F40. And he does not do it. Zero points. Going to have to go to a tie break. Let's see how far they finished. They both have one apiece in bucket two. But as you see, the camera will show. We've got two of the 40s and 50s there that made it into the loop. Whereas only one of the Dirty 30s, they are eliminated. 40s and 50s finish further. Next matchup is Team Ford versus the Vans. First up for Team Ford is the Muddy 08 Ford Focus. He's clean out the gate, clean into the loop, clean off the table, and straight into bucket two, five points. Nice start for his team. Scoring those early points really puts pressure on the other team. Now let's see how the Chevy Lumina for the Vans does. He has a no-nonsense run, clean all the way through, makes it into bucket two, scores five points. The tie is on, he puts pressure back on the other team. Next off for Team Ford is the Red Ford Escort RS2000. He has a clean launch into the loop and flies out, no points. Next up for the Vans is the Engineering Department Custom 77 Dodge Van. Smooth takeoff, but in and out of the jump. Zero points for him as well. Tie game. Hand up now, Rusty Ford Escort RS2000 for Team Ford. Clean launch, into the jump and out, just like his compatriot. Zero points. Still tied. We have the black 70s van up now. Did not make it in seating. Let's see if he does here. It's a heartbreaker. Three quarters of the way through the loop before he nose plants into the track. Last chance for Team Ford with the Ford Street KA. He launches and it is a pathetic finish. Zero points. Still tied. Vans have a chance. Blue 70s Van has a chance to make some points for his team. But he flies out of the loop as well. Zero points. Tie is still on. Cool one for the Vans is up next. Any points by the Vans here on out is going to clinch the victory. Launched and failed. Zero points. This is the last chance with the Action News 68 Custom 77 Dodge Van. 
and he does not make it. Zero points for them. Tie break. As the camera pans, we see two in bucket two, one for each team. And as we close in on the loop, we see that the Vans have one more that finished further than that Ford Street KA, clinching the victory in the tie break. Team Ford is eliminated and the Vans move on. Now looking at our Western bracket, we can see in the Coastal Division, Marvel and DC seated 16, and the 40s and 50s from the Desert Division seated 13. In the Eastern Conference, Atlantic Division, Team Aerodynamics seated 14 is moving on. Engine Exposure seated 15 is moving on. In the Southern Bracket, the Corvettes seated 18 from our Beach Division, and Air It Out seated 19 from the Scrublands. They will both be moving on. And to the Northern Bracket, from the Plains Division, the Cart seated 16 moving on, as well as the 20 seated Vans in an upset moving on to the next round. And the round continues. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like our channel. Signing off with Croxton Family Racing Productions. This is Adam Croxton. Stay safe, stay free. We'll see you next week.